good morning everyone it's wake my light and today i'm going to go over just how you set up keybinds in lvi and um how i have my keybinds set up and why i have them set up this way right um so first off if you want to set up your keybinds in lvi the first thing you're going to do is in the game do a slash kb right so once you do a slash kb you're going to see a window pop up that says hover your mouse over any but buttons or actions and you bind them to a key. So this is different from click, right? So click is a separate key bind compared to what is actually on your action bars. So what you're doing right now is you're setting up your action bar key binds, not your click key binds. They're two separate things, right? So for me, if I want if I want to set up my one through five on action bar one, I would do I would press one, then two, three, four, five, right? Um, these are usually set up like one through through equal sign or one through minus sign, right? Um, but for me, you know, my hand can't go all the way over to zero. I ain't got that big of hands, right? So I'm going to go one through zero, right? Or one through five. And then I have mouse button clicks, right? So mouse button clicks on my Corsair here, right? Is actually the two that are right here, right? So mouse button five is the top one. And mouse button four is the bottom one, right? Um, and then because because of my, one of my earlier videos, I went over how to set up your Corsair uh, scimitar for using your numpad, right? So what you would do here is if you have your num numpad set up correctly on your Corsair, you can take your second action bar and actually set up your section, second action bar over here with the numpad keys. Some people will use F1 through F12. Other people just do different things. Find what works best for you. Um, for me, it was numpad. I've been doing it for since as long as I've been playing this game, pretty much. Uh, so what, like eight years or so, ten years or so, um, playing at least at a rating level. Um, so same thing. You would just hover over the action bar wherever you want to do it and set up numpad three, numpad six, all the way through, right? One through zero and beyond, right? Um, the, the, what I'll go to into next is how I have mine set up, right? So my one through five on my action bar is actually, um, my one through five on my action bar is actually my most used spells or usually my damaging spells, right? So as a healer, I don't really have to worry about too many damaging spells. Um, they're usually my one through five is like my core stuff that if I'm not healing someone, this is what I would be doing, right? Um, next up my, uh, mouse button five and mouse button four are usually stuff that's like special specialty use i don't have to use it all that often but still a decently core rotational to where it's all still from my mouse hand right it's all very easy uh, almost it's almost everything is either one through five or mouse hand the next thing that you'll see over here is my action bars right so like I said, my click setup is different than my action bar setup. Remember that these are two different things, right? So my action bar setup, this is where I have all my major cooldowns, um, my uh, movement speed increase, that kind of thing. So how, how I have mine set up, right, with my scimitar is I have numpad one set up always as my movement speed. I have my numpad five as my uh, AOE spell. I have my numpad four and numpad seven usually as a, as either my interrupt or my silence, as well as a stun. Um, my numpad three through numpad 12, so numpad three, six, nine, and the plus sign, all of those are gonna be different cooldowns, right? So here, you see, usually my major DPS or healer cooldown is gonna be on numpad three. Um, and then from there, I have other cooldowns. Um, then I have my minus sign, my numpad minus sign, right? Um, which it, on the Corsair Simtar would be the 11 key. That is usually going to be my personal see, uh, personal cooldown, right? So this would be something like for survivability, right? So dispersion on my Dis Priest or my Divine Shield on my Paladin. It'd be something along those lines. Um, after that, numpad 2 is usually like a specialty key. It's usually reserved for stuff that's you know, either a talent or like a single target talent or single target spell that um, is specific, right? Um, and then outside of that, the only modifier I really use is shift one through three. So so those are more situational. Um, I've tried to get more comfortable with using those per se. 
Um, one thing you'll notice is you don't see any of my healing spells. So even if you go on my disc, even if I switch to disc, you notice that almost none of my healing spells are actually on my core action bars, which is core action bar one and two. You'll see some of the stuff like beneath, right? Um, but what you see right now, so this top part right here is actually a weak aura. This action bar though, the only healing spell you actually see really is penance. But penance nine times out of 10, you're actually gonna be using as a, for DPS, not as healing. You get more benefit out of it from doing it as a DPS, um, using it damage than you do from healing, right? As long as you have atonements out. Um, but really that's the only thing you see, right? Whereas everything else, right? You'll see my powered shield, my, ba my or power barrier, my shadow fiend, uh, Rapture, all my CDs, my healing CDs are up here, right? Mind Seer and AoE is still there. My Angelic Feather is still here for Numpad 1. My Mass Dispel is another thing that I usually have on there. My uh, Knockback, I have a Fear. Um, but all my damaging spells that you notice, for the most part, I'm on 1 through 5. And then you see Powered Solace, which is a CD damage spell. Um, still part of my core rotation for the most part, uh, or part of my burn phases. Um, you see that also on my action bars, right? Um, the biggest thing I tell everyone, right? And like I've mentioned in earlier videos, find what works best for you, right? If you're if you're someone that you know likes the thought of action bars, but you don't like mouse doing mouse overs and stuff, have your one through fi five or whatever keys you're comfortable with. Set those up as your healing spells. Um, a lot of people also unbind your S, A, and D buttons, and then they have those as additional key binds that they can use. Uh, most of your pro gamers don't even have backpedal A and D as a keybind anymore. They actually have those uh, for movement at least. They use them actually as additional keybinds and uh, and use QWE as well as the mouse to move. Um, and it's something that I encourage everyone to actually get into. I haven't gotten into the into getting rid of ASD yet. I haven't ripped that bandaid off, but soon TBD. Um, but I do use my mouse to move 99% of the time. Um, it's faster, it's quicker, it's easier, it just gets the job done. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys have any questions or concerns, please let me know. Um, if there's anything you guys can think of that you guys might want me to go over involving LVUI, click, or healing add-ons, um, please also let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if it helps you out. And don't forget to check me out on Twitch, Wake My Light, um, twitch.tv slash wakemylight. Uh, and stay tuned for more video get videos, guys.